The search begins. It may look like American Idol or X Factor, but the contestants aren't vying for money or a record deal. This is Imam Muda or Young Imam, Malaysia's TV talent show where contestants compete to become a Muslim cleric. A program that will change your life. A big claim, but the producers were determined to break the rules of traditional religious programming. The approach is how we want to make it interesting for the young. Because like I said earlier, for any religion to attract the young closer to God is like, it's a big, huge challenge. Ten finalists try to maintain sincerity. Difficult under the glare of the studio lights. The winner will get a job at a prestigious mosque, a scholarship in Saudi Arabia and an all-expenses-paid pilgrimage to Mecca. The producers say this show is a reflection of Malaysia's modern and open form of Islam. It's designed to provoke debate among Muslims, but also importantly to draw in young viewers with a slick set and dramatic elimination rounds. Each week, one or two contestants are voted off if they don't make the grade. The producers claim this isn't reality TV. But for wannabe Imam Nuri Ali Arbain, it sure feels like it. So far, I'm very sad eh? because this, this results. Because I don't know. I did the best in my exam. Some of the practical tests have been tough, preparing HIV-positive corpses for burial and helping families through difficult times. There's no Simon Cowell. Instead, a former Grand Mufti, equivalent to an archbishop, is one of the judges. He insists the show is educational as well as entertaining. Millions are expected to tune in on July 30th to find out... Who will be crowned? with the title of Imam Muda. For a religion that is often portrayed as staid and conservative, this kind of TV show is nothing short of revolutionary. Dam Rivers, CNN, Kuala Lumpur.